incident. The What's going on YouTube? In this video I'm going to bring my Nomad build. My Nomad build is um, built to be tanky. Um, I will go over things that uh, make it very tanky and very good to use in a group or solo. Now when I say tanky, you might be shocked when I say that because I only have 371,000 toughness. And I can put out some hella damage as you just seen in the, the clip before this. I can put out uh, a lot more than what it appears at only 308,000. So starting with my lightweight M4, which I was not using in that video, I got the 22% enemy armor damage, which is more for PvE, 18.7k base damage. My talents are pretty nasty on this, is unforgiving, responsive, and competent. Um, you start hind kind of hard to argue with those talents as far as damage goes in that video I was using the mp5 mp5 21% critical hit chance damage of 16.3 K base damage talents were competent sustained and deadly I could roll sustained off there I feel that it helps me a little bit even though 6% isn't that much in the increase of health but as long as you're getting kills you definitely will see that Four piece Nomad specialized backpack Savage Gloves. Savage Gloves can be better. These Savage Gloves are uh, shitty firearms roll, rolled for assault rifle damage. Even in that video, I was using an SMG, so I could roll that or find some uh, SMG gloves. Critical hit damage, critical hit chance with a better firearms roll, which would be ideal for me. Um, the specialized backpack. I have it rolled to electronics. Electronics mean the world in 1.6. Cooldown on skills, um, your skill power, uh, the effectiveness of your your booster shot, your your immune station, your turrets, um, your skills. So I mean, if you guys aren't running any skill power, you should definitely address that because skill skill power will will help you a lot. Major attribute is rolled for health. Um, this is to make you tankier. Uh, chest piece, Nomad, major attributes is 16,597 health, a decent stamina roll, protection from elites, which really doesn't mean anything, but I did roll ammo capacity on there. The mask is a decent firearms roll. I rolled skill power on there, obviously, for to, to make my skills more effective, and damage to elites, which really doesn't mean anything because this build is made I made this build for for PvP um, my nomad knee pads still not a very good roll on the stamina I did roll health on there as a major attribute 15 15,600 for that tanky feel um, my holster is probably the best nomad piece I have um, I really didn't have to do anything to it the six percent skill haste I could roll that up to seven or I could roll that off of there and roll health on there but I haven't felt the need to do it um, this the one percent skill haste I'm not too too worried about that um, going to my abilities I'm using immune box for those guys using the uh, flame turrets using firecrest or whatever they're doing um, or shock turrets for that matter <clears throat> and I am running booster shot what makes this crazy, crazy build? Um, 
even crazier is run recovery link with it the nomad perk obviously when you get dealt a fatal blow you're instead of death you are instantly restored to full health so essentially it is a recovery link so what you do is as long as you have the nomad uh, ready so you go into a fight and you let them um, you can face tank with them so you're uh, in, in, the, in the clip you seen before I'm, I'm moving around I'm hip firing be, because I don't want to take obviously too much damage because there's multiple enemies out there but you can move faster hip firing and when you're taking all this damage once that nomad prox they think they've killed you right you have full health all right now you start using med kits you start using booster shots you start using whatever kind of heals you have um and you don't use your recovery link until they almost kill you again and then you pop your recovery link so in all reality they have to kill you three times right so you got your first health bar then you get your nomad right you're using your med kits and as soon as you get down um to where you're uh are you about to die again you hit your recovery link that's your third life so you're fighting these guys they think they kill you your nomad procs they think they kill you again you proc your recovery link like literally you can take so much damage with this build like i said in a group or on your own this build is great the talents that i am using on the move critical save on the move and critical save they did get nerfed in 1.6 but they are definitely still worth running okay if you are running in a team i would tell your team to run combat medic because as long as you guys are stay, staying close together or somewhat close together every time somebody uses a med kit it heals the group so me and my group run this so when you go at us and instead of having five med kits you pretty much have 20 med kits and you know as long as you guys are using communication and not just burning them up um, you pretty much should stay close to full health um, and the other talent I am using is strike back reach low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20% so if they start killing you um, on your first life you, you get that 20% buff on your uh, and you can see if you want to go back to that first uh, the the clip before this video you can see how many talents I have active while I'm engaged in those in those fights like I have a ton of uh, active talents down there at the bottom of the uh, where your, your health and your ammo stuff are at you can see them all just lit up so well anyways hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys try this build. Not only is it fun, it pisses a lot of people off because you're very, very hard to kill. But if you're having trouble surviving, or if you're trying to make your team even stronger, this is definitely a build that you can, should consider to running. It's uh, it's definitely fun to use, and you can be very successful as a solo player using this, and you can be very successful with your group being able to tank all that damage being able to uh, take a lot of that fire for your teammates and still be able to survive so hope you guys enjoy this video hit that like button sub if you haven't and I'll see you guys on my next one